five thirty in the morning here, May thirtieth. We're at Deer River State Forest, and if you watch my scouting campsite video, um, we were shooting for Camp Five, but that was packed right out. So the one with the with the river view was Camp Two, so I headed down to that and got that. And it was uh, joined later by my friend Dan. Uh, did not sleep well last night. It was a lot of bird activity. No surprise. Uh, I don't know if you can hear them now. I'm still getting used to sleeping in a hammock. Um, I had a low of 54 last night, and all I had was uh, I had a little blue pads from Walmart and uh, an old fleece blanket. And then I had um, some thermal underwear, tops and bottoms, and a fleece cap that I wore for a while. And uh, did pretty well with that. My shoulders got a little cold because I got off the pad, but. With some, some wool socks on. Um, it's already in the 70s this morning and uh, starting to get a little warm, but not too bad. We're uh, supposed to get some thunderstorms uh, today, so we'll see. Bugs are really, really bad. Last night we had. But every kind of biting bug you can think of, uh, horse flies, deer flies, mosquitoes. So hopefully uh, it won't be so bad today. Well, we're going to get up and have a little breakfast in a little while. We got uh, Dan in here doing a little uh, scrambled eggs. I already did the bacon. So resting over there in that blue pan. Take you around the site. So we got the war bonnet blackbird with edge tarp, Dutch continuous ridge line setup. Didn't use any, like I said in the other video, I didn't use any uh, under quilt or top quilt. I had my top quilt in there. That's a uh, Arrowhead Equipment uh, New River short three season. I had it in there, but it was it was what I had. My, my setup I had was uh, warm enough, so. Uh, There's the kayak that I thought, if we had campsite five, I would have been able to take the kayak out, but uh, somebody's got that snagged up, so. There's our fire pit. Man's tent. River is back that way. We'll go down there later.
down the trail. Somebody tried to chop this dead tree down. I don't know if you can see it or not, but hopefully it was dead and they were trying to cut it down. But Looks like we got some sexual relations going on here. <laughs> some sort of fight. Oh, well, he just lost. Oh, she's back over here. I don't know what these are. This, this trail to the toad. Um, these are just probably deer. These are deer. That's a deer. These are all deer. This is the deer run. You can see it goes that way. And it goes up the hill too. Come right down the drink here. This, this is just a mat, one snag after another on this river. It's just, it's just total. Destruction down here. Natural. I, I'm assuming that's a natural dam. I don't think it, maybe a beaver did that. Beaver could have done that, I suppose. Yeah, eh? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a washout, but you said the water was really high at one point. Probably yeah. came right over this. Yeah, there's all kinds of tracks back here. I don't see any scat. And you couldn't yeah, fishing in here would be a treat. It was getting snagged up. Yeah. There's a there's an old tire up here. Washed down from upstream somewhere. Bugs are thick back here. Yeah. It's fairly good shape on this side anyway. More snags down in there. A lot of ferns. Right back way that way back towards camp. Hey guys, we're gonna get uh, ready to make some packet gourmet bangers and mash. Okay, we've got our. I think this is the yeah, this is the bangers part right here, right? There you go. And we got our mash. So we're gonna dish that out and get back to the folks. Bangers and mash. We're gonna take a little stir here. You're all set right there. Yeah, well guys, we've been fighting the rain all day, cloudy, clouding up, and then a little sprinkle here and there. We've been calling for severe thunderstorms most of the day, but well, we've uh, fought it off at 6 o'clock now. But uh, we are getting, we are getting pelted now. I don't know if you can see out there. The old hammock's over there, getting... This will be the first time the old edge tarp's been out in the rain, so we'll see how she does. Keep it, I should have tied my lines up, my straps up, but I didn't. Oh yeah, she really come down. We're underneath a good old fashioned blue tarp from Walmart. Got her set up kind of in a lean-to type style. There's Dan's tent over there getting uh, fantastic. Getting I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a $30 tent from Walmart right there. And I tell you what, for 30 bucks, you cannot beat that tent right there. It's heavy. You ain't going to take it, backpack it on the Appalachian Trail. But uh, for car camping, you can't beat it. That sucker is spacious. Goes up real fast. Got that nice uh, tarp-like bottom on it. It's like a bathtub, basically, so your water even doesn't get through it. Yeah, we're getting a, good, uh, getting a good little bit of rain here. my water bottle under here fill her up all right well we're gonna wait her out guys and uh 
we're gonna wait around and see what happens here. If we're gonna, we, we got plans to watch uh, either Full Metal Jacket or The Big Lebowski tonight on the iPad. We watched uh, Crimson Tide last night, so that's how we do it out here in the woods. See, anyways, uh, we uh, dodged a major storm again. There it was a, a little, uh, little downpour, pretty heavy for a little while, but uh, as you can see here. I'm still under the tarp, but the sun is out in that direction. Anyway, all the weather is coming from over here in the southwest area. Uh, there's some thunder rolling over on the background, so we may get that yet. But uh, I'm I'm somebody who loves a loves a major thunderstorm. I, uh, I won't be too worried about it. We're we're pretty well set up here, so if it gets real bad, we can go get one of the vehicles. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's about 6.30. That dropped the temperature down quite a bit. It was 83 here at one point. They're forecasting the low tonight to be 49. I'm going to have to bust out my um, my New River under quilt and my Awihi top quilt tonight, I think. Um, both from, Air, from um, Arrowhead Express. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool tonight. So, Alright, we'll check in later. we got a couple of burgers going on the uh, Northwest Territory stove. And we got some uh, pasta salad here for later. Dan's wife made that. And I'm going to get the last Mountain Dew of the trip. We're back to rain and the thunder got awful close, but we're doing, doing good under the tarp. Well guys, it finally got us. I don't know if you can hear me or not, the rain is really coming down now. Uh, hammock looks to be okay. Uh, Dan's tent seems to be holding on all right, hopefully. Uh, I'll pan around and give you a look at the situation. That cooler will be all right. Dan's in the van. Guess we won't be having a fire tonight, most likely. But no lightning yet. We have, the thunder seems to have stopped. Um, hopefully, uh, I like I like a good thunder and lightning storm. So hopefully, we'll get a little one, and then she'll. Move on before it's time to go to bed. It's uh, 7:50 now, so we got a while. We were, we were up to about 11 or 12 last night. So, uh, all right, we'll talk to you later. Hey guys, well, it's 7 o'clock on uh, Sunday, uh, May 31st, and the rain kept up pretty much, you know, pretty steady. It wasn't heavy, but it's steady for all night long. So we just. Uh, about six o'clock this morning, we started packing everything up and and just shoved it in a car and got out of Dodge. So, uh, low of uh, 45.6, I think, roughly, last night. Um, I did put the under quilt on last night. I uh, didn't use the top quilt; just used my fleece blanket. And I did pretty did pretty well. Um, my rigging method was not uh, waterproof, but my tarp lines were. Where I went underneath the, the tarp instead of going over the tarp, and uh, I didn't put drip lines on the on the ridge line for the tarp, so it, it conducted down and got stuff wet. Uh, I think the hammock suspension was all right. I'm not totally sure, but everything's a little damp. Uh, definitely going to need an under quilt protector in the future. Probably get that from 2QZQ. Um, well, we had a good time. So, I head home right now, and we'll. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.